Hi fellas, I think we saw with the Tommy Robinson torture, arrest and torture business, how not one of our papers, not the Telegraph, not the in so-called Independent, not the Guardian, not the BBC, not Sky News, not one of them would tell you the truth that Tommy Robinson did not break any law outside Leeds Crown Court. I knew it because I said it to a few people. But even they, even pe you know, people I knew were saying, oh no, no, he's done something wrong, he's, he's gone against the courts. Well, no, he hadn't. Because he just read out public information that I'd read about the charges and the attacks on the 12 and 14 year old girls. How, in, in Arabic countries, Islamic countries, how are Christians and other minorities treated? We've seen in the UK how, how even Theresa May has become a Sharia compliant. I mean, see what she said about, about Britain First? Who, just for publicising some true tweets, that yes, gays are killed and tortured and lashed and imprisoned all over the Islamic world. This is a fact. In the Quran, it tells them to kill all gay people. Kill all like Lot. But the Old Testament wasn't so good on them either. But that is what it still says in the Quran, that they should execute all gays. Well, as we know, in Egypt and, and Iran and Lebanon, numerous places, Christians are regularly bombed. Yes, their churches are bombed by... You know, Shia, Sunni, Islamic groups, and more often by the ISIS extremists who, whether you like it or not, do follow the Quran very closely. The, the most closest of all the Islamic peoples. They do the beheadings, they do the robberies, they do the sex slaves, but selling kids for sex slaves. This is what the Prophet did back in 627, 635 AD. As we see, the Sultan of Brunei has effectively banned all. Christmas celebrations uh, in his, you know, 95% Islamic country. Yes, it might upset the faith. It might upset the faith. He bans Christmas because it could damage the faith of Muslims. Well, it's quite moderate this really because in some countries, even if you try and preach Christianity, the correct punishment under Sharia is to chop off one hand and, one, and the opposing foot. And this has been done in many places in Africa, but with machetes by Boko Haram. That is how savage it really is. Nothing to do with peace, nothing to do with like getting on, not left wing, it's far right. Is Islamic beliefs are Nazi beliefs. Where do you think Hitler got half of his ideas from? Blitzkrieg, got it from Muhammad. The Holocaust, he got it from the killing of one and a half million Christians in Turkey. Google it, the Armenian Genocide. Loads of pictures of massacred kids, beheaded, he you know, heads on spikes, all sorts. Yeah, this is the uh, tiny conservative nation on Borneo warns citizens that putting up festive decorations or singing cows could threaten the country's Muslim faith. In other words, if you do anything like that, they will chop your heads off. Yeah, I'll put a link underneath, uh, underneath this. It's only a small country, but it tells them, you know... You know, a leading group of imams warned that any celebration not in any way related to Islam could lead to Tayabush imitation and unknowing damage to the Aquidah, faith of the Muslims. So there you go, completely autocratic, completely Nazi, as we expect all over the Middle East. And this is what happens. And just to reiterate, it is, it is recommended in the Quran to kill all gays, to kill all lesbians especially, uh, there were recently in Iran, there were f in under a year, there were 35 gays hung, and 34 out of the 35 were LGBT women. Were women, probably because they wouldn't give the husband sex whenever they demanded it. So that's it. He's, a, he's banned Christmas in Brunei, and Christmas really is, is banned in the entire Islamic world all year round, really, because. It's, you know, we are, to them, we are dirty kufar. We are perverts. You know, criminals. We're filthy. We stink. We're stupid. And when you look at the way they're letting us build, letting them build mosques all over London and Luton and Yorkshire and, and some towns like Dewsbury, there's a little place there uh, I visited last Saturday and it's 99% Islamic. One small town. Savile Town, and it's 99, honestly, it's 99% Islamic. That's how threatened, and that's how much white flight we're getting. Just just as they have in London now. I mean, it's, they're all fighting amongst themselves now over drugs, gangs, and what have you. That's why the murders have got so bad, because the people that were worth robbing, largely, have moved out. 
So it's Sultan of Brunei has banned Christmas and it's all it's all okay. You you will rarely hear this mentioned in the British media because it's just fid filled with radical converts, with hard left Marxists, the, the Unite Union and the mock the right and the hope not hate, you know, illegal immigrant students all support. Okay. See you guys.